What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today, we have a reaction video to one of the greatest content creators to ever grace the platform. Uh, Mr. Beast himself, the Beast of the East. I think he's from the East, I don't know. By the way, I'm wearing a nice little cape here today sent to me by Google Stadia with my name on it. Look at that, a little blanket. I don't know if it's a blanket or a cape, whatever it was supposed to be, but you know, Google's been sending me some nice stuff in the mail, like this cape, like this jacket with my name on it as well. It's supposed to light up in the dark, but it just stopped working. And then I also have a beanie somewhere on here, which is the most comfortable beanie I've ever worn in my life. But you know, it's 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 funny because I'm not, I don't even use Google Stadia, but I should probably use it considering they're sending me all these games on it. So I gotta give it a try. But shout out to Google Stadia for sending me this cool stuff. You know, I appreciate it. Anything cool, free merch, definitely I'll take. Anything you guys want to send my way, you know, just hit me up in my business email, um, and uh, I'll, I'll 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 definitely accept anything. You know, maybe product reviews, all that good stuff. But anyways, today I'm reacting to Mr. Beast is YouTube Rewind. YouTube decided not to make a YouTube Rewind this year. And that's probably because, you know, obviously COVID and the circumstances and um, it was just probably going to be really difficult for them to, you know, make that happen. They probably would have gotten a ton of backlash, especially considering how anyone who doesn't apply by the uh, social distancing rules and they wear masks, uh, people get really upset for some reason. So YouTube were like, we're not doing any YouTube Rewind. And then everybody started tweeting at Mr. Beast like, yo, Mr. Beast, YouTube's not doing a YouTube Rewind. Please make one. And then Mr. Beast was like, okay, I'll make one. So uh, today I'm going to be reacting to that. Mr. Beast, is an, he's an insane content creator. Like, look at just his interactions on Twitter. Like, the amount of interactions this guy gets, the amount of views this guy gets on his videos is nuts. It's it, it puts every single content creator on the platform to shame. But he totally deserves it. Like, the, the stuff this guy does is like no one else I've ever seen on YouTube. Hands down, one of the most generous human beings on planet earth period like i mean this guy buys islands and just gives them away he buys houses and gives them away he buys a lot of cars and this gives the whole lot to one person insanity like who does this he does he's the beast but yeah anyways he tweeted out earlier today i just uploaded my own version of youtube rewind retweet this tweet and spread awareness and then I saw like two of my favorite content creators on the platform, MKBHD. He tweeted out the, the video and he said, um, by Mr. Beast, but might as well be the official. And then we had KSI who said, Mr. Beast's YouTube rewind greater than pretty much everything else. So I'm actually really hyped and excited to watch this video. It's not that long. It's only six minutes. And um, it's going to be interesting for me because as you guys know, I was kind of absent from the internet in 2020. So I don't really know any of the references or memes that kind of blew up or even the creators that took off this year. But still, nonetheless, I'm going to watch the video and hopefully I'm able to understand what's going on and, you know, see if I can recognize my favorite content creators or just content creators that I know in general. Look at this. In six hours, 9.2 million views. Like, that is insanity, bro. Like, what the heck? Oh, a little Among Us. And 2 million likes already. Wow. And 7.2K dislikes. Compare this to last year's Rewind. Oh, my gosh. Let's, we got to do a little quick comparison. YouTube Rewind 2019. Is this the one that had Will Smith? That, yeah. yeah. Or was that the 2018 one? This one has 211 million. <laughs> Bro, I have the video disliked. I don't know why I disliked the video. I actually don't remember watching this video. Maybe I just joined the hype of disliking the video, but I'm sorry, YouTube. I'm going to undislike that video. Please don't terminate my channel. I was, it was a joke. Uh, here after Mr. Beast Rewind. Mr. Beast Rewind, YouTube Rewind. Yeah, so obviously people are going to be shaming YouTube's Rewind. Which was the, which was the one that had Will Smith in Year it? Review. Welcome. Oh, that's PewDiePie's video right there. Let's see. Was it Rewind 2018? That was the one that had the, the memes of Will Smith. Uh, yeah, I think it was YouTube Rewind 2018. Yeah, oh, it was this one. Oh, yeah, it was this one. I See, this is the one that stands out to me because of how, many, how much this was memed. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> yeah. All right, whatever. Enough of making fun of Will Smith. Let's watch this video. What's up, YouTube? I think we can all agree that... Wow, he literally started it out in the same setting that Will Smith did his. I, is he wearing the same outfit? Like, 
That'd actually be hilarious. I need to find this video. Time. Oh my gosh, he is! Wow, Mr. Beast, you troll. You're the real troll out here. He should have he should have hit us with a oh ah, you know that would have been hilarious. It'd be the only thing in existence worse than 2018 rewind. Oh, because of the global <laughs> pandemic, thousands of creators just couldn't make videos. It was oh, brutal, man. and I can't blame YouTube for not wanting to make a rewind. Okay, but that's, that's a what lot I of thought. Still did happen this year, and let's be honest, it just wouldn't be YouTube if we didn't have a rewind to make fun of. So. Enjoy. There's growing concerns about the deadly coronavirus officially hitting the U.S. Here's what we need. Everyone spread out. Oh yeah, I remember this. Yo, quick fact, I literally wanted to join this Pokemon card hype, but I literally lost my binder with all of my, you know, 1996 limited edition Pokemon cards. Like, people think that they got the best Charizard. Man, if I find this binder, I will show you guys what kind of collection I have. It's intense. I'm pretty sure I could have probably sold my Charizard to Logan Paul for a quarter million dollars, but I lost the binder. I'm really sad. My mom had these collection, uh, this collection since like I think 1998 or something, and uh, she gave it to me on my 24th birthday back in like 2017, I would say. So I had it in LA. I remember I was showing it to my friends, and we were like seeing how much the cards were worth, and they were actually worth pretty penny. But unfortunately, I just lost the binder somewhere. Hopefully, I can find it somewhere in this crib, uh, you know, maybe while I'm moving or something. But anyways, back to the rewind. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this fight, dude. This fight was hilarious. Oh my gosh, it was actually painful to watch. It's like it reminds me of a PewDiePie video. That YouTubers should get more say in rewind, which is why I called hundreds of YouTubers and asked them what they think should be in rewind. What do you want in YouTube rewind? What do I want in YouTube rewind? Minecraft. This year was a big year for Minecraft. Minecraft's made a comeback for sure. Minecraft. The resurgence of Minecraft. Minecraft. You're a stupid chicken. I deleted a channel of mine. Who is honest? Oh, yeah. They copy dance me. Bro, can we just talk about Markiplier and his crazy just moves on YouTube. So he made a channel called Unis Honest. And I remember I'd see this channel all the time in my recommended. I maybe even clicked a couple videos, watched them back last year, but I never knew the premise of the channel. So the whole idea was that Mark got together with one of his friends from YouTube. They made a channel. They uploaded a video, a piece of content every single day for 365 days. And at the very last day, they decided to close the channel down. But in that period they raised a ton of money for charity obviously they probably made a lot of money themselves but just the whole idea is crazy to me that they made a channel and then they close it down after 365 days mad respect to markiplier for staying that committed to that and uh you know obviously rest in peace unis honest it's too soon, Hikaru. Valkyrie! Thank you so much for the support. So many amazing games came out this year. Woo! Dude, would just be doing one pick play. I actually really like this person. Dream. 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 The Dream SMP? I have a strange feeling that... Oh yeah, by the way, guys, this guy Dream is insane. So he apparently had like 1 million subscribers at the beginning of 2020. And then now he has like, I think 16 million subscribers. So he was able to gain 15 million subscribers in one year just off of Minecraft. I was asking my editor the other day, like, what is so special about Dream that he's so big? He's like, he's literally the best Minecraft player in the world. Um, I mean, I haven't really watched much of his content. I mean, not really any of his content, to be honest. But I do want to study him and I want to see really what's going on with him and how he makes his content. Because to me, that kind of growth is insanity. You know, maybe if he could grow from 1 million to 16 million, if I could even get a fraction of that playing Minecraft, I'd be happy. I'd be a happy man. Left out a YouTube rewind. What Drew's been doing is crazy. No, 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 There's no way! Yes. I gotta say, losing to Ninja in rock, paper, scissors, absolute the lowest point in 20. Oh yeah, I remember this. For a quarter million. I remember this. That was insane. We were doing Among Us in real life. Something with Among Us? Among us. Among us. Among us. Among us. Among us. Among us. Funny moments. No! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they obviously picked KSI. That's hilarious. Jack Septic Guy raising four million plus dollars. Arranging sanctions. Matt Pat raised over three million dollars. There was a lot of charity effort. 
I feel like as a whole, the community really banded together. YouTubers donating. I'm gonna give 10 grand to the cause. Be health and Black Lives Matter. We have to spread the message, we have to be responsible and use our voices. This is our time. He runs the human race. Oh man, I forgot about this too. The worst part of 2020 would probably be COVID-19. It's a bit of a virus going around. For me not being able to see friends and For family. For me, the being Having inside. To working remotely, right, I guess I just on the personal level, and it's going to sacrifice at all of the uh, weddings. The worst part of 2020 is when David Dobrik quit YouTube and switched to TikTok. Definitely the coronavirus and the I pandemic. I didn't get to see my boys all year. Oh, yes, okay. computer science class. I have the hack of man. Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast winning creator of the year. Definitely Mr. Beast giving a million dollars worth of food. Didn't he like make burgers or something? The Karen and Dash toilet paper? I just want one pack. Chloe saying saves my quarantine. Everyone who grew a beard or changed their look somehow. Whoa. Uh, animated Mr. Beast blowing up a hospital. Sorry about that, Jimmy. Jenna Marbles quitting YouTube is the biggest thing I'm on YouTube this year. I'm just gonna move on from this channel for now. I don't know. Whoa, what? Jenna Marbles quit YouTube? The boxing match, Nate Robinson versus Jake Paul, and he can hit hard. He like VTubers just blew up. Anthony Padilla for giving voices to people. Gaming moments, I'm talking speed runs. TikTok. TikTok. TikTokers becoming YouTubers. Today I have five very special friends. I was there. That was a I want to see what dream really looks like. You know, I literally Googled his face the other day and I couldn't find anything. He's not going to show it. He's a troll. Oh. What you currently see on your screen is every single channel that hit 10 million subscribers in 2020. Not going to lie, it's actually more than I thought it was. And what you see on your screen now is every single channel that hit 1 million subscribers in 2020. Holy crap! My what? So here's just a video of me scrolling through the Excel sheet. Each one of these names represents someone that hits a million subscribers in just 2020. Now to wrap things up, I have a fish. Bro, YouTube's brand. growing so much. Oh! Oh, that's hot. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Damn, hilarious. I was gonna say, this whole rewind literally seemed like PewDiePie's 2018 rewind when he made it, but it makes sense, it's the same editors. And I thought it was pretty good, honestly. You know what, Mr. Beast, I'm gonna give you a like. I mean, this is what I expected a rewind to be like, honestly, instead of getting all these celebrities and, you know, high-end YouTubers to come and act out these skits that turn out to be quite cringe. This is probably what I expect a rewind to look like. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, for me, 2020, I've been off the internet, so I didn't really know a lot of these things. Like, Jenna Marbles quitting YouTube, that kind of came as a shocker to me. I had no idea she quit YouTube. Let me actually look her up real quick. Jenna, Jenna Marbles. Did she really, like, when did she quit? Six months ago. Wow. Wow, that is crazy. She left behind a 20 million sub channel. But I mean, she was like one of the, yeah, a very, very early content creator on the platform, so... I guess it's 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 something that's inevitable. At some point in time, you either gotta quit your YouTube channel or you keep doing it until you die. It's one or the other. But yeah, that's gonna do it for the 2020 Mr. Beast YouTube Rewind reaction. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of the rewind down in the comment section below if you enjoyed it, if you didn't, and why. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.